Dr. Seuss Friday. Bah, bah. So on Dr. Seuss Friday, we read a Dr. Seuss book. And you might think, that's childish. That's dumb. You guys are idiots. And you might be right. No. Or yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I am the bluebird of happiness. That's a real thing? This here is Frank wearing his colors, German pride. Um, he's German. Alvita Zane. Alvita Zane. Um, how you guys doing? It's beautiful Friday. It is July 15th. It's the 196th day of the year, which with 169 days left of 2022. Remember you used to do that like every single day? <laughs> no. I'm glad you don't because... I don't remember that. It's uh, it's July 15th. It's the dead middle of winter. No, it's not. <laughs> it's the very middle of summer. January 15th is Martin Luther King's birthday. Is that what you thought? Yeah, maybe. It's July 15th. Um, There's some holidays today I just want to get into. It's uh, it's St. Swithin Day. Swithin. Sw- Swithin. St. Swithin. St. Swithin. <laughs> Okay. What did Saint Swithin do? People don't know, really. What? Yeah. Um. So he was. And a, they he, admitted that he was a saint, like a bishop in uh, England. Uh, not much was known about him, but he performed a lot of miracles, and today he's celebrating those miracles, but not really. Mm-hmm. So here's how the history goes. Um, whatever happens on Saint Swithin Day, weather-wise in England, in England's known for their gloomy, dreamy weather. It's it's uh, it's it's in- unpredictable. Will happen for the next 40 days. 40? Yep. So okay. if it's raining today, it's going to be a rainy next for 40 days. For more than a month. If it's if it's a beautiful day today, look forward to a beautiful 40 days ahead. Okay. How about that? So that's not too bad, I guess, if if we're going to do the same thing. Cause for us, it's not too bad today. Yeah, I feel like we have Groundhog Day, which like kind of is like saying the same thing. Oh my gosh. I sent you a video yesterday. What, what were they? It? Are they Groundhogs? Uh, yeah, they're groundhogs. They're, yeah. they're groundhogs. Yeah, we have, we have some groundhogs. They're scaring me. Yeah, they love the uh, the archery field over at my um my work. They were eating something. Um, Chris. You, like, you like, speaking of animals, you like horses? I love horses. It's uh, I love the slow-mo videos on like couple, TikTok. Oh, of them running? Yeah. Galloping? No, it's, a slow-mo video of them standing there. It's uh, it's National I Love Horses Day. Also, na- Celebration of Horse Day. This would be great for um, Tina. Um, for Bob's Burgers? Yeah. She had a, a weird fascination with horses, She right? loves horses, yeah. yeah. Um, and then it's it's also like National like, Please Respect Canada Day. <laughs> Canada? They, they, do, they need that. They need, they need someone to stick up for them. That's what I'm they saying. They do get bullied. It, it's a funny holiday because it's like, it's not National Canada Day or like National, I don't know. It's like Respect Canada Day. Aw. And like the entire listing of the holiday was telling you that like all the things that canada does do and it's like you know we are like second in this and third in that and first i don't know about first but and um i just think it's funny the way they worded it it is funny because i mean all the countries get bullied yeah for Which something like, just but... what, a, what, a, what a canadian way to word it yeah you go well if it doesn't bother you too much you can just, i don't know how they you sound speak. irish which probably is where the canadian accent came from yeah irish scottish and um like a strong maybe welsh or something you know yeah. the uk because that's who, you know, settled it beyond, obviously, the native, Ala- uh, not Alaskans, the native Canadians who would pr- not even speak English. Yeah. I often think that about, like, even, like, the Eastern accents, like, you know, like, Boston, and it's, like, O's or A's. Oh, right, it's right. Like, it became hard and, like, ka. Yeah. But if you look at, you know, I mean, Boston was a predominantly Irish city. It's like, right. I was in the car. Yeah. The car. Oh, look at the car. Look at the car. The car park. No, but they say car. Who? I don't know. Who knows? Um, yeah, so that's all I have, really. Oh, no, it's not. I have another holiday. National Gummy Worm Day. I'm a gummy bear in a gummy wear. That's not it. There, no. There's a gummy bear song. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yeah. I'm a gummy bear. <laughs> that's the gummy bear. Um, And, um, you know, of course, I'm talking about the non-drug gummy bears. What are the drug gummy bears? What? That's edibles gummy bears yeah edible gummies and they're in shapes of bears i don't think so yeah because sometimes kids get confused i think that's just one of those myths 
I always do this thing because every Halloween they're like, be careful. Yeah. There's there's gummy drugs out there. And then all the drug people that like to do their drugs are like, why would we give out right. our expensive drugs right. to little kids? What joy yeah. would that give us? And not even the kind that will come back to buy more because you you don't know who gave it to you. Yeah. You're not yeah you're not hooking people. It's like, oh, the six-year-old is going to keep coming back to my house. No. It's like, who would waste drugs like that? No one. Happy happy sixteenth birthday, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. I don't care. Twitter started or op- I don't know what it did something on this day, July fifteenth, two thousand six. And if I did my math right, which is questionable, I believe it's a sixteenth birthday. Yeah, good for them. That's a long time, two thousand six. Um, it is. I remember. Okay, so like, where were you when this happened or that happened? I remember the first person I heard Twitter from was my sister Kellyanne and she would tell us I I literally she was trying to explain hashtags to me and stuff and I'm like really what do you mean and she's like ah like you you tweet if you if you post it it's called a tweet and this and this and this and I'm like um you know I would be terrible in the stock market I'm like that's stupid that that's never going to go anywhere (laughs) well yeah no I remember my uncle um your brother about Netflix okay and this was back in the day when um Netflix wasn't a streaming service. Yeah. It was a subscription service that you would you would go online and yeah. say, I want to rent, you know, Planet of the Apes and they'll send you a CD. In the mail. And yeah. And Snail you, mail. And then you have a queue. And so every time you send it back, they'll send you the next one. So you're getting this continuous and he would just rave about it. And at family parties, we would all just roll our eyes. Like Derek loves Netflix. Yeah, oh, you and your Netflix. It was yeah. like his thing. Like, yeah, you're right, little, right. You're, you're a little quirky thing, Netflix. Yeah. And then, uh, jokes on us. Jokes on us. We should have, we should have put all our money in a. I know. In the old stocks. Twitter and Netflix, but we didn't. But we didn't. Yeah. We absolutely don't. Yeah, yeah. You could have. You would have. You should have. Yeah. How about that? Um. How about NFTs? You buy any of those? Maybe we should. We could get in on that. No, I, I don't trust any of the crypto stuff. Because mm. it's like one of those things where it's like, I don't know, and like it's NFTs. It's like, nah, I was at McDonald's mcdonald's yesterday and it was like mcdonald's nfts and like it's like just i feel like it's getting so oversaturated right and so for people who don't know it's some sort of non-fungible token it's just like you own like a little image jpeg or something it's the only you have full ownership of it yes yeah. people can do screenshots and copy it and paste it but you own it. You own it's like you own the digital footprint and you can sell it the same way you know someone would own a mona lisa and right. how many Mona Lisas can, can you find? A million, but there's only one original. Right. So it's like that, but digitally. And I and it's, and it's just like, it's, but it's not Mona Lisas. It's like anything. It's like a cartoon drawing. The one I saw was like a new NBA draft pick. Was it his signature or photo? It was something like, or it was something that he, about him, but it was just. It's so confusing. And I don't know. Maybe this is how people felt about the internet, but. For me, it's just no bueno. It's it, a lot of it seems like a scam. You'll have you know famous people yeah, well, this, push uh, their own, and then like, I don't know anything about it. Um, there's a there's a t- speaking of Twitter, a famous Twitter account. No TikTok account. So sorry, I don't know how old TikTok is. Um, TikTok well, Twitter, TikTok is like younger. Well, I don't know. I don't know how old because you'd have to see how old musically is. Oh, TikTok is three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 like tiktok has been around for like three, three years got you yeah yeah music well this this family is on um youtube tiktok all this that tall family yeah and they're just they're, they're on there because they're tall <laughs> and um some people have all the luck yeah and um the dad was talking about some nfts that he currently has but that he he has made money but he also lost money and it's a fun thing he does that's yeah, my knowledge i think it's just it all happened at the same time like so um, what is it called? Con- like, what is it when like, everyone does it? Like, uh, customer, not customer. Like, it's us versus them. We are the the masses, the the people. About uh, about stock trading. If you can okay. help me with my words, I don't know. I ha- I don't retail. I can't. I can't. Retail. So it's like when the retail traders are like opposed to the big business. Yeah. Got into it on like Robin Hood and stuff, and then it's like, oh, day trading. It's like. I can make money on companies. Wow. And then I feel like the NFT thing is just like, sl- like j- jumped on that wave. Right. And was like, oh, you can make money with us too. Ah, it's a bunch of hoopla. There's things I do. If someone bl- wants to give me an NFT, I'll I don't take- want one. Oh, I'll take it. No, I don't want one. 
Because the thing is, like, you know what? It's like one big Ponzi scheme. Is it? Yeah. All right. Because this is what it is. It's you're a dumb, you're a dummy for buying one, and then the whole purpose of owning it is to find. It's not nobody really wants it. Like, yeah, they they have some ideas that like in the metaverse you'll be able to have like an art gallery in the metaverse with your NFT on the wall, whatever. Right. But the whole idea is to make money, and so what you're trying to do is find a bigger dummy to buy it for more. And then that dummy trying to find a bigger dummy to. Fight. But how can you prove it's real? Like, I you can prove the Mona Lisa is real because the scientists would. Uh, it's it's all part of like a blockchain of like mm. you know that, that I don't I wouldn't, wouldn't know the technological aspect of that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. With with companies, you are you are saying, I believe this company is going to be valued more. They're going right. to make more money. Stocks. Like I believe in it. Even with art, it's like you yeah. There's buyers and sellers, but like. A lot of people are buying art because they want the art. I feel like with NFTs, it's just who can be the last dummy? You know, like the person who then spent a million dollars for it looking. Who's going to pay a million five hundred? It's like, so, no So you're the type of person, like, if you buy a car or a house, um, you're never thinking resale? You're like, I like this car. No, I am. Some people buy things for, like, I can sell this for more, you know? No, I, I, I'm, I'm not like that. Like, I think, yeah, when you buy a house, it's like, yeah, you should be thinking. But, like... Once again, that goes into someone will find true value in this for more. I, I feel like the NFT is just a dirty game of like rich people getting richer off of people that are oh, dumber and I more like that. dumber and more ambitious. Yeah. That are like, oh wait, I have the chance to live the high life. Oh uh, yeah. It's like, no, selling a you, dream. Yeah, selling a dream. It's disgusting. That's what McDonald's is doing. Like, oh, it's NFT sweepstakes. And it's like, oh, well, any make okay. Uh, any McDonald's, let me just say, any McDonald's sweepstakes and Starbucks for that matter. I can't speak on the other ones, but I'm sure they are. Just don't even worry about it. No. it they, they are complete no. and total scams. Hoopla. Scams. Hoopla. Even if you tell me, oh, my 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 brother won a boat on a McDonald's sweepstakes. Okay. And, okay. And, and, and millions and millions and millions of other people did not. So. Yeah, you tell him. Did he get struck by lightning? Because I didn't. I didn't either. You get bit by a shark? You know what the most dangerous shark is? The one that bites the hardest? You, you know what, what shark causes most deaths? The one in the water with you? <laughs> no. I don't even know one different shark name. You don't? Jerry the shark. <laughs> All right. Whatever. What's yeah. his name? Great white. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, is there any other kind? Yeah. Well, uh, the lesser gray? The point of it was... It was one of the Quizzo questions. And oh, God, so when, Quizzo. When people ask you a question like that, you immediately start thinking like, well, it can't, it can't be, be the, the obvious. Great white. Okay. So is it like the tiger shark? Is it the, the hammerhead? Okay. Is it, and I, no, no, it's the great white. Well, that's the trick. You have to know when you're being tricked. Like, what's, NFTs or a Quizzo. It's, everything's a trick. It's all smoke and mirrors. <laughs> We're having a bit of a day. <laughs> no, we're not because it is Friday, guys. Okay. Um, Yay. The first Friday we've had in a while. July we, weekend. July weekend. Um, we didn't have a Friday podcast last week, and I know you guys missed it because we do a little something special. We have Dr. Seuss Friday. Dr. Seuss Friday. Bah, bah. So on Dr. Seuss Friday, we read a Dr. Seuss book, and you might think that's childish. That's dumb. You guys are idiots. And you might be right. No. Or yeah. Maybe. Maybe. No, maybe not. Because the point of it is, we like Dr. Seuss. We like yeah. Theodore Geisel. Um, and he wrote in his fun books with fun characters and cute little rhymes. Or cute characters and fun little rhymes. <laughs> um, deeper meanings that, yeah. that cause children for decades to you know, learn and, and inspire them. Listen. And listen and teach them how to be good and people. Think. Is Frank closer than he used to be? Like, I can't. Pull it towards you. This? Yeah. What was that? I wanted to push it away from me because I wanted to lean. And well, maybe his book today will say, not worrying about the small things. Okay. So anyway, so yeah, so we do it every week. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, go watch 25 other Playlist. Things. Um, so we are reading a new book today, but it will, we'll be using it for how many stories is in this? I don't know. It's one, of, it's, a, it's one of the compilation books. Yeah. So we are reading The Sneetches and Other Stories. So... Um, we're just going to read, I believe the Sneetches will be first. And uh, yeah, it's just fun. Uh, sit down and, and I don't know, 
open up your minds, your adult minds for these adult concepts. Yeah, and children, look beyond but... the rhyming words. Here we go. All right, <laughs> the Sneetches. I'm pretty sure we've seen these Sneetches before in other books. Mm. Now, the star belly Sneetches had bellies with stars. The plain belly Sneetches had none upon Nars. Those stars weren't so big, they weren't really so small. Oh, wait. Those stars weren't so big, they were really so small. You might think such a thing wouldn't matter at all. But because they had stars, all the star belly Sneetches would brag were the best kind of Sneetch on the beaches. With their snoots in the air, they would sniff and they'd snort. Will have nothing to do with the plain belly sort. And whenever they met some when they were out walking, they'd hike right on past them without even talking. When the star belly children went out to play ball, could a plain belly get in the game? Not at all. You only could play if your bellies had stars and the plain belly children had none upon theirs. When the star belly sneeches had frankfurter roasts or picnics or parties or marshmallow toasts, they never invited the plain belly sneeches. They left them out cold in the dark of the beaches. They kept them away, never let them come near, and that's how they treated them year after year. Then one day, it seems, while the plain belly sneeches were mopping, moping and doping along on the beaches, just sitting there wishing their bellies had stars, a stranger zipped up in the strangest of cars. My friends, he announced in a voice clear and keen, my name is Sylvester McMonkey McBean, and I've heard of your troubles, I've heard you're unhappy, but I can fix that, I'm the fix-it-up chappy. I've come here to help you, I have what you need, and my prices are low, and I work at great speed, and my work is 100% guaranteed. Then quickly Sylvester McMonkey McBean put together a very peculiar machine, and he said you want stars like a star belly sneech, my friends, you can have them for $3 each. Just pay me your money and hop right in aboard. So they clamored inside and the big machine roared. And it clonked and it bonked and it jerked and it burked. And it popped them about, but the thing really worked. When the plain belly sneeches popped out, they had stars. They actually did. They had spar stars upon theirs. Then they yelled at the ones who had stars at the start. We're exactly like you. You can't tell us apart. We're all just the same now, you snooty old smarties, and now we can go to your Frankfurter parties. Good grief, groaned the ones who had stars at the first. We're still the best sneeches, and they are the worst. But now how in the world will we know they all frowned, if which kind of what, or the other way around? Then up came McBean with a very sly wink, and he said things are not quite as bad as you think. So you don't know who's who, that's perfectly true. But come me friends, do you know what I'll do? I'll make you again the best sneeches on the beach, and it will only cost you $10 each. Belly stars are no longer in style, said McBean. What, do you, what you need is a trip through the star off machine. This wondrous contraption will take off your stars, so you won't look like sneeches who have them on theirs. And they, that handy machine working very precisely, removed all the stars from their tummies quite nicely. Then with snoots in the air, they paraded around, and they opened their beaks and they let out a shout. We know who is who, now there isn't a doubt. The best kind of sneeches are sneeches without. Then of course those with stars all got frightened, frightfully mad. To be wearing a star now was frightfully bad. Then of course old Sylvester McMonkey McBean invited them into his star off machine. Then, of course, from then on, as you probably guess, things really got into a horrible mess. All the rest of the day on those wild screaming beaches, the fix-up chappy kept fixing up sneeches. Off again, on again, in again, out again. Through the machines they raced round and about again. Changing their stars every minute or two. They kept paying money, they kept running through. Until neither the plane nor the star bellies knew. Whether this one was that one, or that one was this one, or which one was what one, or what one was who. Then when every last cent of their money was spent, the fix-up chappy packed up and he went. And he laughed as he drove in his car up the beach. They never will learn, no you can't teach a sneech. But McBean was quite wrong, I'm quite happy to say, that the sneeches really got really quite smart one that day. 
The day they decided that sneeches are sneeches and no kind of sneeches the best on the beaches. That day all the sneeches forgot about stars and whether they had one or not upon ours. The end. It was about what we were talking about. What? You were saying buying buying stuff that's worthless. Tricks tricks of someone to... Oh. That's what I... As soon as you started reading, we had just talked about people trying to fleece. It was one person, you know, um, taking $3, $10. I'll make you better. I'll, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, so and they were like lining up for it. And someone's making money, for, money on it. And then he devalued. So like... You want the star, and then it's like, no, now we're, de- you know, you want the Gucci belt, and now there's so many fakes. It's like, well, now we're devaluing well, yeah. the Gucci belt, you well, know? Yeah. We were just speaking of NFTs, right? And I said, right. the rich, richer. And every, if you notice, every time he either took the star or, to- or sold the star, he was doing it for more, more money. Right. So the first time was $3, and it's like, right. well, now we want our stars off. It's like, okay, that'll be $10. And then more and more and more. And it's like, yeah, you're being dummies. Yeah. But they got smart at the end. We need to get smart with the NFTs. So what happened at the end? He drove away and Mc 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 Monkey McBean. Yeah, and laughing with all of his money, and he said, "Right, he Haha, made these sneeches will never learn." But they did learn because one, I mean, they also confused themselves because they were doing it so much that they <laughs> didn't know who had stars, okay. who originally didn't, who did. But they're like, "We're at the end of the day, we're all sneeches, right?" And this, is, we can all just be friends, right? These are all of our beaches. <laughs> I when I first it. started reading, I thought, "Do we read Sneeches before?" But no, I don't recognize. I don't. Rem- no, I didn't. When I said uh, I recognize them, I meant like the, the characters. Drawing. Like, yeah, I wonder if he had a favorite. A favorite character, Doctor Seuss. Like, you draw, you know, any like tattoo illustrator or person, or you know, it's like I like do. We talked about the band, and it's like yeah. I I like the song Cashmere better than I like Stairway yeah. to Heaven. Did Doctor Seuss enjoy one of those? little guys more drawing it or seeing it you know than others probably i, probably I think horton. i think i interrupted you probably like horton ah, i forget oh no yeah no i like the book um i think this is like very up the alley of you know if you want to explain dr seuss fridays to someone it is this where this is like a very real world right analogy yeah. for kids like it's kids and sneeches stars no stars but in reality it is this like thinking something so superficial makes you better right and grouping because of that um so i'll just start there i mean like so we're looking at it and they mentioned how tiny the star is yeah and i think we always like we always forget because we're all humans when you are the same as something you see very small details yeah but like look at the way we look at like squirrels or something you ever tell two squirrels apart no no i can't if aliens came to earth we would all be the, the fact that they would see us fighting over, um, you know, skin color or right. eye color or, or like these little things would be like, what? Like, right. If you go to you know, another planet and then you see a green person fighting with an orange person, but they look the same. It's like, you guys are right. both aliens. Like, yeah, it seems all, so all silly. the things um, that we, we like to enhance, increase or decrease, it's usually by a little bit. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, look, like a push up bra gives you like a few yeah, extra. Look, look at inches. height, right? Like look at like if aliens came and they were like real small or real big. And it's like we, there's a joke about like, you know, like five, nine, like short kings. Yeah. And then like six, two. That's four inches. Like this. Right. Is, it, this is what determines. Um, whether you're tall or you're short, you know right. what I mean? Like, right, exactly. It's it's crazy. Yeah. Um, but we put ourselves in these Yeah, groups. imperceptible. Um, Pierce was telling me about Asia, maybe Japan in particular, that they, uh, he said they're so interested. I think we even talked about it before, but the blood type. Blood type, he, You know, yeah. he said, you know, they, they kind of judge you for blood type or yeah. they, you know, will be attracted to a blood, like how we would do Zodiac or something. It's not, I'm sure it's not that serious, but still, I said, well, there's not that many blood types. Like, yeah. you know, you're basically breaking people. And like, I'm thinking the top ones are 50-50, really. I mean, almost. So yeah. it's super tiny differences. And then, um, yeah, what's it called? Uh, the other thing is the desire to try to fit in. And then, yes. and then it's always like what happens is then you're still not accepted because there's more of a deep-rooted just us versus you than that. Um, you know what this story kind of made me think of? What? Is... 
black women and natural hair. Okay. Um, because, you know, like through society, especially in the workplace, there was always a judgment for natural hair. Yeah. Or no, for, yeah. And it was like for just the way that your hair grows For so many head. of their hairstyles, it, it, it was a judgment. Yeah. No, yeah. For, for just ah, for the way it judge, grows out of your head and then any kind of braiding or something. Yeah. And compare it. And when it's just both, genet- like if you have two people and like, yeah, neither of them are doing anything to their hair, you're judging one for the way it comes out. And right. It's like, but then to like to go with your like braid and stuff and then it's like oh it's sort of like um you know you have like this guy coming and it's like there's money to be made to there's money to be made to say well i can give you a good hairstyle right a good hairstyle right. i can give you the hairstyle that will make and then right you get it and then you realize well there's still like you still might be looked down on upon in society yeah, you're right even after you did it and it's like because it never was about and that really is about money i mean um, I think majority of white people do not realize how much money black females in particular spend on not anything that you would notice as completely outlandish. Yeah. You know? um, we don't have that bill. Yeah. Um, just so, And then you said, imagine doing all this and then people will still give you trouble. Yeah. You, it's, it's, <laughs> and then it's like, it might, if it's then still hard. Like, Harder to get a job than your, right. your white counterpart. It's the person who did nothing but who put did, their, did nothing a ponytail. But, yeah. So that was that was like one thing I thought about, um, and because it's it's like I said, it's that idea of you do something to try to be in the, yeah. in, in the other group, and then you're st- like I said, it, it goes back to it was never about who had star, obviously not, because then they got rid of the stars, right? right? Then they got rid of the stars and said, oh, well, now no stars is better, and it, it's never about, and that's that's you just see that all the time, yeah, all the time. People looking to other people to say, "What's in? Should I wear the hat backwards? Should I wear the hat forwards?" Yeah, is 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 TikTok for kids or can adults use it? You know, what what uh, how far from my pant cuff should be from my shoe? Yeah. You're always looking. Um, because I feel both of the both of the sneeches were wrong in the story because the star sneeches, when the starless sneeches would approach them, they didn't say like, "Yeah, it doesn't matter. You don't have a star." It's like. You can't, you, it does matter. Yeah. So both of them are wrong because the starless one is like, can I change myself to be like you? And the star one was wrong. Yeah. Because he could have ended it. They could have ended well, it. Well, no, hundred percent. And that's why I'm saying it never had to do with the star. Right. The same way, like it never had to do with hairstyles. And the same. <laughs> it sounds like Harry Styles. <laughs> that's funny. Harry Styles. <laughs> um, I'd like the Harry Style hairstyle. <laughs> um, the same way, like it's the same person who in 1980, the same mean girl that said, made fun of a girl and said, you have a fat ass. Right. Right. If you flash forward her, because, all right, well, context, <laughs> and like back then having, call, being called, oh, you have a fat ass was an insult. Insult. It was like, you should need to be skinny and all around right. little like legs. Gloria Vanderbilt, zero jeans. I don't and- know who that is. And, it, but so it's, it's that person, it never had to do with like, they, deep inside them felt like that was the wrong way to look right because if you put them in 2022 it would be the same person to say you have a flat ass and you have to go get a bbl yeah brazilian butt it, lift. It's, it, it's it's the mindset of yeah whatever is the norm or whatever i have is i'll look down on you regardless yeah that's funny you put me in mind um of the sneeches with most recently chloe kardashian chloe kardashian um had i just I don't know what you call average at this point, but she just had uh, the butt that she naturally grew. Style was bigger, so she got many implants. Yeah. She just had the implants removed. Now uh, she's back to a smaller butt because she, ha- she, you know, she has followed the trend. She's putting the star on, taking the star off, putting yeah. the star on, taking the star off. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess there's two sides of, the, of this coin. I guess on the one side, it's, you know, don't try to be someone you're not to fit into crowds. And then the other side, it's don't let, a genetic predisposition make you feel better than someone else. True. But that's it, guys. That's it for Dr. Seuss Friday. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next week for One Word Wednesday. It'll be July 20th. Will it? Peace. <laughs> How'd you do that math so fast?